Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here, and I wanted to quickly jump on here to tell you about the new script that I'm writing that I believe will benefit many of you. And really, the initial thought behind the script was to create it for the module or third kits that we have available at ukrainemedia.com. However, I think you can use it for just about anything else. So let me show you what it does. For this example, I have this static lower third with a bunch of different text. And what if, but before that actually, this lower third is rigged up. Even though it's static, it's pretty responsive. And by that, what I mean, I can select this text and size it. You can see that the shape works well with it. So it's responsive, whatever I type in here, it affects the shape as well. So it's very, very responsive. But what if I needed to create like 100 of these lower thirds or 200 or 300, like a bunch? What's the quickest way to go about it? I mean, I would hate to select this and duplicate it and adjust. I mean, that can take you a very long time. Well, the script that I wrote allows you to bring in an external text document with, that has a list of names and other properties that you can just run it. And it, for each list that you have, it creates a new composition. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this, I have this text document and each line of text is actually a player. And it's actually a new composition. The way I have it rigged up, each line of text is going to create a new composition. But within each line, we have properties that are separated by commas. So the first one is the name, just like it is here. And then we have a jersey number, just like it is here. So you can see even a line of code, or I wouldn't say code text because it's not really code, is it has options within that line as well. And the cool thing about it, all of this is based on selection. So whatever you select first, let's say name, and then second would be that, third would be that. So whatever selection you've made, it's going to apply that, like the first, second, third property based on your selection. So the first one's going to go to that, the second one's going to go to that, and the third one's going to go to that. So you get the idea. And you can have as many of these names as you want. You can have 100, 200, 300, but I'm just going to do that. In fact, you can copy this, duplicate it, adjust, you know, create a new name like Sergey Praknevsky and stuff like that. And then you can just save it. So I'm using a text document, you know, dot txt. However, I'll make it available for CSV as well as TSV, JSON files, and maybe XML. So we'll see about that. But the idea here is just an external text document. So once you've made your list and you can have a bunch of them, then the next step would be to save it. And then you can go here to After Effects. And then you'll need to go and load up. I'll have an option somewhere. But right now I'm just going to load it up using Extend Script. So here's my script. And right now I'm still working on it. So I'm going to add maybe more things to it. But as of right now, here's how you load it up. So you just load up the file, the text file. So I'm going to go here and here's my text file. And this text file has all those names. Okay. And I'm going to hit OK. So it is loaded up. Next, I can change the naming. I can say, hey, add the number of comps to each composition that I create. So if I create one, then it's going to say comp1, comp2, and so on. Then I can add prefix. I can say add new underscore to each composition. And after that, I'll just go to this composition, select. Remember, the order is important. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. So the order is correct over there. So it's going to change all of these and then duplicate the comp and change the next comp. And it's going to do that based on how many items you have in here. So let's run that. Apply. As you can see, it created a new composition for each line of code that I have. So the first one was messy. Let's go to Sergey here. So as you can see, it adjusted all of that stuff. And as you can see, it's identical to what I had in here. Let me show you another practical example of how useful the script can be. So for this, I'm going to use our module lower third kit flat style, this one right here, that you can purchase at ukramedia.com. I'll have the link at the bottom of this video. And with this script, it can speed up your workflow with this thing big time. And by the way, the first thing you want to do is make all the changes that you need to the, I guess, design of the lower third. So you would go in here and maybe get rid of the logo or maybe even Title II, you can adjust the animation, do all the things that you want to do. I'm going to keep Title II in. So once you've made your selection, then you want to run the script. And by the way, I'm going to use the same text file we used earlier. So it's going to have the name, right, the jersey. I know this one has way more properties or items that I need. However, I'm only going to focus on these first three, right? I think it was name, jersey number, and then position. So 
but we're going to ignore the other ones. It's still going to work. So let's do that. I'm going to go and load up the script. So let's run it. So now we have this script. And next, I'm going to select the text document. So here it is. And then I'm going to press OK. So now we have it loaded. I'm going to adjust the naming. Let's add a prefix new. And next, all I need to do just, again, select the text files or the text layers that you want to be affected. So the first selection is going to be the name. Second one, I think it's going to be the jersey number. And then the third one is going to be the position. So once you've made your selection, then you just press apply. And next, it's going to create a composition based on the selection or on the items that you have in that text document. So now you can go into projects. And as you can see, we have Cristiano Ronaldo. And it will take a couple seconds to load it up because it's pretty heavy on expressions. So there you have it. We have Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me bring it up. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, jersey number seven, and then position forward, just like it is in this text document. So we have Cristiano Ronaldo. But as you can see, it ignored everything else because we've only made three selections, right? So again, this script is super useful, especially for those of you that have to create a bunch of lower thirds and things of that nature. So I can't wait to get it out, especially for people that use our module lower third kits and keep an eye out for that. It'll be out soon, but I'm excited about it. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.